So, I got some feelings about the story of this game. Character development, <coughs> development, etc. And I'm sort of curious. Oh, okay. I'm sort of curious uh, how those feelings line up with my feelings of the first game. Like I, I, I can say now what my feelings are. Um, but I played that game a long time ago, and the world was a little different then, and I was certainly different then. Um, I was not the socially conscious butterfly you see before you, uh, which, that, that was a joke. That, that is to say that I do not have a perfect understanding of all social issues. I don't, I don't want to say that. I don't, I don't want to come across that way. That's not the truth. Anyway. So, I'm curious if my opinions when I'm comparing those two games really represent, <coughs> represent the first game. And so I'm tempted at this point, you know. Right. My plan was just to play this game and then maybe start speedrunning so it. We should know what I value hear it has a speedrun and that sounds interesting. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should get a hold of the first Mirror's Edge on PC and play through that as well. Because I think it might be interesting to see how they compare and contrast to each other. Fortune sucks. I heard. What happened to you? We were moving your sister topside when all hell broke loose. I screwed up and Kruger's sec injected me with something and just let me go. Your new friend seems to think it's reflection. Sounds like it. You mean you have infected Come on. It's not fully active yet. We're perfectly safe for now. You. What the hell were you thinking sending those goddamn beacons here? What's to stop Krugersek from raiding us? I am telling you, the signal can't reach this deep. Well, it certainly reached her sister as soon as we got topside. Krugersek were on us within minutes. And I lost good people. You're not the only one. You were never gonna give me those blueprints, were you? Well, I have other ways to hurt the families. Mark my words. Their lofty towers will not protect them. Faith, until reflection is destroyed, we're prisoners here. I may have a way, but I need that blueprint. Go to my friend Plastic. She has it and you'll be safe there. Icarus can show you the way. Use the tunnels. What about you? Come on. We should get going. Come on, Doctor. You doing okay? Can't take it easy with that. Don't you recognize me? Boy. Please. You'll be safe in here. Faith? Hey. Come on. I'll take you out of here. Yay. Ooh, side quest. Oh, it's just another one of these run through the things thing. Boo. Alright. Well let's let's do this. Can't fast travel to that one. That one. I think I can fast travel here. Yeah. So 
there's been a trend that I've been noticing, and we're like, what, 13 hours into the game at this point? I haven't counted. Um, I haven't I haven't started editing the videos together, but we're like we're a decent amount into this game. And there has been a trend regarding the uh, story significant characters. So far, I guess I've been I've been noticing some uh, demographic trends with regards to the race and gender, or or uh, sex of the main characters. In that, uh, so far, with the exception of Dogen, who I will remind you is a crime boss. Every character in the color has been And, you know, it's... That's not to... I don't point that out to say, like, Well, you can't... You can't have women be people of color, because that would be dumb. But what that really says to me is most of the male characters are... white dudes. And I've got some theories about this. Um, dice is a game developer and oh god, I'm gonna fuck this up. I, I'm pretty sure they're in a Scandinavian country, I could be wrong. Uh, and games as an industry is pretty uh sit in this until they forget where I am. Uh, and you know what? I think I think this deserves my, my full attention instead of just like talking about this distractedly. So, the games industry has, has some issues with uh, gender diversity as far as employees and certainly as far as characters. Um, and the feeling that I'm getting from this game is that DICE recognize that diversity is important in games, right? Otherwise, every single character in this would be white. Just like in the first game, most of the characters were... I mean, you had a very small handful of characters, but most of the characters were white. Uh, with the exception of a runner who shows up like once and I don't remember his name, and then the two Connors sisters. Um, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time. No. So, clearly, diversity is a thing of some kind in this game. However, Noah, who was in a position of authority for the runners, is a dude. Nomad, who's this scrappy young street kid, or, or is a white dude, I should say, is a white dude. Uh, Icarus, who ends up being your other buddy, is a white dude. Gabriel Kruger, who, of course, he's the, the head of a megacorp, of, of course he's a white dude, right? Like, the sensation that I'm getting is that the developers, as they were feeling out the characters and designing them, when they were creating characters that they could identify with, that is to say, male characters, it was easy for them to assume that those characters were white. Whereas when they were working with characters different from them, and once again this was without any research into the dice, so I'm not saying this is the fact, I'm saying this is the feeling I'm getting from playing the game. When they were designing characters that were different from them, see female characters whose experiences they couldn't identify with as easily, it was easier for them to go, oh, well, of course that character can be um, Asian or black and and not run into any any issues with their, their assumptions getting in the way. So I'm pointing this out not because I think Mirror's Edge is a terrible game and it's getting politics all wrong. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to say that. Like, clearly, if this game had been made, like, ten years ago, everyone in this game would be white. Uh, and the, uh, Rebecca would be 
a dude and you'd have like scars and shit that are that are awesome and like like eye scars and whatnot instead of having someone who's clearly been a burn victim you know there's there's there is some progress shown in this game uh but i'm i'm bringing this up because even when we as creators of games or or even as fans when we say that diversity is important it's easy to say that line and not really understand what it means right like representation in games is important that's true that, that is a fact it, it affects people but it's not enough for us to It's not enough for us to just represent people, it's important for us to consider how we are representing people, especially when we are representing characters different from ourselves. And I'm pretty sure I talked about this a bit on Sunday, and this is the point I think where I can go back to actually playing the game. I think I talked about this a bit on, on Sunday, but I personally try to keep a really close eye on this kind of stuff. Uh, because I play Dungeons and Dragons, and especially, you know, I play it on stream. And I, by nature, have to represent a bunch of characters that are different from myself. And it is important that I look at how other people are doing that and critique it. That I can do better myself. And so that other people can notice these things and do better than that for themselves when they're doing work like this. Oh shit. And I want to be clear. I don't think this game is bad. I don't think this game... And once again, it's this boy dude here. Uh, I don't think this game is bad. I don't think this game is doing an awful job at representing minorities, but I see room for improvement. And that's what I'm talking about. need to be aware of these things so we can have them. Get cut on geometry this time. There we go. Where are we going? Oh, this is quite the run. You know what? Let's go do this first. Get us some quick travel and make our lives easier. Oh, rip. Oh, this is good to be. Oh, hey! We didn't die! Yay! There is a delivery pickup nearby. One thing I would like to say while we're on the topic is it's. You hear a lot of people when they're talking about entertainment in general being like, well, why should we care? Uh, I don't I don't want this politics stuff in my. Oh, it's okay, we're gonna. Have to do that.
the safe house. There's the safe house. Go, 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 go. Come on, safe. Anyway, so you'll you'll hear people hear people say, "Why should I care about this? Get your politics out of my games." Control here. Abort the search. Um, but they're they're a component of the game. That is, you know, it, it exists. It's there. And it's, it's worth analyzing and critiquing just like any other component of the game. You know, for, for critiquing the voice acting, and the writing, and the game mechanics, and the graphics. All of these contribute to the overall experience of the game. And so does the game's quality. Just like when you're critiquing games, graphics, or writing, or music, you can critique these things without saying, well, this game is bad. And sometimes you are. Sometimes the game just is bad. Sometimes, you know, the music is just kind of terrible, or the graphics just are kind of terrible, or politics just kind of are terrible. But in general, one should not assume, if you're critiquing one of these things, that you're saying the game is inherently bad. Same goes for things that aren't games, too. Like, you know, the number of people when they are first starting in an arts program who are like, well, if you hate my work so much, why do you, why even say anything about it? Like, fuck you, how dare you critique? Oh, shit. How dare you critique my piece? Um, and what you find is those people don't get very far. Uh, this critique is important for making good work. Oh god. Hey, I didn't die. Okay. I died. <laughs> this game sometimes. Oh god, again! <laughs> I think we can do it this time. <laughs> There's something I'm doing wrong. I'm just straight up gonna go look at the controls and make sure I'm doing this right. We have a point to spend anyway. Uh, where is it? Double wall run. Jump from one horizontal or vertical wall run to wall run. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're doing it right. Run, look, run again. Right? So, what do we want to spend this point on? Focus shield, huge reversal damage, or disrupt plus, increases disruption range, decreased charge requirement. Yeah, this seems better. Right. Okay, so that time it worked until that happened. Faith, please, work with me here.
heard, I heard somebody shouting. Everything okay? You good? Okay. Just making sure you're all right. Sorry, I worry about you. Um, I kind of want that, so I'm gonna get it. Faith is in fact the world's best uh night rope walker. Convert the grid node CCU and connect to your beat link in order to expand your coverage in the city. Okay. Faith Racer. That little bomb, bomb, bomb that happens when you pull one of these out. That sounds like a. Never mind. I was gonna say because it sounds like a timer, and up till now, none of them have ever gone back into the wall. So, that was an interesting change. Probably not. I'm gonna try that. Oh, no, no, rip. Rest in peace, faith. Peace, faith. Jump on that right as it's heading out. Yeah, so here, and then onto 
that. There we go. That's not the thing. Hop onto here. Let's see how long it takes for that to go back into the wall. So we hit a laser, there was a little alert noise, but nothing actually happened. Still not clear what those do. Hello, meet my fans. Let's throw it here, and why are there security lasers back here? What? How could you possibly expect someone to be over here? Sneaking suspicion. That we can pull it from over there. Yep, okay, so what's the plan here? Now that we're here, okay, we're gonna pull this, we're gonna run across here. I'm gonna jump to that and then do exactly what we did. Oh, come on, that cycle. Go, 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 go. Do it here. No. Whew, just in time. Seems fine. We'll just jump to that. Oh. 
This is a terrible idea. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we're gonna jump to this timed platform. I supposed to do? Huzzah. Boy. Oh, jeez. I'm really glad Faith knew that was there. Side mission. data points and the, the stuff and the what the hell? Am I supposed to fly through this one? What? 
lights on. Keep going, Faith. Restart. I think I understand some of it. Like this one, I'm pretty sure we're gonna. Yep. that second one here that I'm not understanding. Close. I hadn't fucked up that first one. Out of upgrades that I'm really, uh, really stoked on. So, um, where is the main mission? Oh, it's way over here. Okay. So, which of these is closer? I think this is going to end up being faster. I've not heard a nomad or from nomad in a long time. Family matters. 
Talk to Dogen. Did we not go talk to Plastic first and get the thing that he wants? Plastic. You can do that. Hey. Hey, Icarus. Can you please tell Icarus that the reflection signal can't reach him here? Plastic is right, Icarus. You need to calm down. I am calm. <laughs> I am calm. This is a nice little house. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, Plastic, for taking it over. It was kind of your home that I just sent everybody to, but... Oh. Cool, right? Cool. Am I going? This way, I can. I missed. Nothing really, uh... Nothing more I can say there. Missed. You've already been right next to him, like, twice. Gotta go and steal us. Yeah. Steal him. Yeah, just go over the... Just... There we go. Celebrity <laughs> visit. You gonna break my legs now? Might as well get it over with. You should finish what you started. Then I can have your legs broken, if you want. There's nothing to finish! Noah is dead! My mom worked on reflection, and now my sister works for Kruger! I'm the odd one out. And the employees are embracing reflection as if it were a long-lost friend. A new world is coming, Faith. There will be no room in it for me, or you. Unless, of course, we stop it. We can't stop reflection! On the contrary, I heard we can. I had a little chat with your friend Plastic, fascinating girl. She told me we need Kruger's own grid print to proceed. Yeah, there's no way to get it. Not even for a top runner? I happen to know that Kruger maintains a private apartment in the view, where you can access the entire Kruger family network. Break into Kruger's private apartment? There's no way I'd get past security. I'm sad to see I was wrong about you. You can see yourself out. Wait, what? That's it? What else is there? <sighs> I once knew a young woman who would defy anyone and anything, even me, in order to do what she felt was right. But you're clearly not her. You're broken. Take the drawing and go. And don't show your sulking face here again. Since when do you care for what's right? When it coincides with my interests, why are you still here? Because you're wrong. I'm not broken. Prove it. I will. Take the fucking drawing. Oh. 
Plastic, Faith needs guidance to Gabriel Kruger's apartment in the view. Of course. Faith, I've updated your beat with the location. It's possible to access his private network from there. That way, you can get the grid print. Faith, use a blank shotgun, and I'll tunnel in through your glove when you connect. Frustrating moments in that one race. even harder to get into than the docks. There's only the helipad on top and the main entrance below. But they're the detail like last time will work. They changed their comp protocols and would last take. Let her run. Oh. Okay. Who are you? You don't know me. Don't leave some scientists. Shut up. Remember our deal, Faith. You're mine. No, Faith, why? There we go. There are squares here. Faith, we found a way in past the outer security screen. Wait. You can get inside through the Malice Art Museum. There'll be guards there too, but you should be able to avoid them. I'm not looking to avoid them. Oh boy. Looking at house of trouble. Like art museums. There's no logic to them. And... Art doesn't have to be logical, plastic. Why not? Then what's the point? To incite emotion? Or any reaction, really. Just like reflection. Uh, no. Reflection induces artificial emotions. Art is real. Well, I think it's stupid and pointless. That's fine. That's a reaction, too. What? No, 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 no. There we go. Ah, runner. Over here, please. Nope, busy.
Other things that I want to compare as far as this in the first game. How easy it is to just execute the shit. Because, yeah. I'm curious if the controls are significantly different. They're the same. If they're worse in the old one. Hmm. Here we go. Or scan to your heart's content. Please don't act like There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. You sure we're coming up here? No? Yes? Yeah! That is not as a beat thingy. We're going way the hell over there. Okay. This is safe! Oh god. I should have died there. Really glad I didn't. Dogen did not break your legs. On the contrary, it seems he has a vested interest in seeing reflection destroyed. He claims that Kruger's grid print can be grabbed from the internal Kruger family network, which can be accessed from an apartment Kruger keeps in the view. This is a high security residence, but Plastic might have found a way in for you through the Malice Art Museum located next to it. You should expect Kruger sec personnel in both buildings, but they will not be expecting you. Nor will Kruger. The time has come to take the fight to them. But first, let's take a quick break. 